Hey guys, Sharkin here, and welcome to another 5 minute farm. Today, we'll be looking at Netherstorm. This farm is a bit out of the way, but shouldn't take you too long. The best class to do this on is a mage. I find if I put my hearthstone in Netherstorm, I am able to just hearth when I log on, check all the vendors and rares, and just teleport back. You can also just teleport to Shat City and fly on over. But of course, you can just use any class you want if you don't have a mage, and you just take the Hellfire Peninsula portal in Ogrima and you just fly north. Well, in Ogrima and Stormwind. What we are looking for is vendors with limited supply items and rare spawns. Make sure you have the add-on NPC scan and NPC scan overlay installed, so you can see the rare spawn location and paths. While we are flying around looking for rare spawns, make sure you check for chests. They don't give much, but some people say they've gotten rare old school recipes from it, so there's no harm in checking, and you get like mats and stuff. My Perfection 17 commented on one of my videos explaining you can use the add-on Gathermate, and it will show you the exact spawn locations of the chests on the minimap. It's a great add-on and I actually use it now, and it will help with any farm you guys use. There is no real route I take to farm the rares as they are so spread. We will only be farming two of the three rares in Netherstorm, Muramok and the Chief Engineer. On the map I provided, just ignore the ones with the green lines. While flying, if I pass by a town or a city, I stop off for any vendors that I need to check. So we start with the vendors. The first vendor sells a lot of green weapons that can sell for a few thousand or it might not sell at all. It's just a gamble. I personally only like the look of the phase blade as it looks pretty sick, but you, you can give it a go if you'd like. It's only 30 to 40 gold per piece. The next vendor sells spare parts. These are the items that are worth buying. Some like the frame and the tube which have a much higher profit margin, but it all adds up if you buy it all. And the moats. If you ever see a moat on a vendor, just buy it. They'll 100% sell and it's worth a lot more than what you bought it for. I'm not a big fan of the next vendor. He sells a lot of pets. There are some pets he sells that I didn't list because they can be you know, sold from other vendors in Azeroth and these are the only ones worth something. The reason I don't like this one is pets are hard to deal with for me. That's just me personally. I enjoy the more expensive ones but these ones are not worth my trouble. But then again it's up to you guys if you want to try it or not. This area really has a lot of vendors. Here's a vendor who sells a lot of different herbs. I personally just go to him to buy every herb he has, always worth stocking up as he sells them for dirt cheap compared to what they are worth. And finally we have the only vendor that isn't located with the rest. He sells only engineering mats and some are really expensive. They also say he sometimes sells a Corium power core worth 2.5k, but it's not listed on Wowhead. If he sells it, great, but if you don't want, you know, just don't get your hopes up. Like always, make sure you check the auction house before buying any of these, as there may be people who have a huge stock and dominate the auction house for these items. Now for the rare spawns. The spawns in Netherstorm are extremely spread out. There are three rare spawns like the other Outland zones, but only two of them are worth killing. We will start with the pink one, Neuromok. He, he drops four different leggings with around 25% drop chance each, with the value ranging from as low as 1k to the highest as 20k. The second is the Chief Engineer, who has only a single drop. A cloak worth around 5k. He is a bit harder to find because he looks like every other goddamn blood elf in the area, but with the add-on NPC scan, you should be able to find him pretty easily. This is not something you should actively farm, but something you should take a look for when passing by because their respawn times are just massive but the vendors are pretty quick so you can always check the vendors a lot i'll be working my way through outlands to show you vendors plus rare spawns to allow you guys to learn what to farm and what not to farm in outlands because it's one of the most underrated areas ever with lots of vendors and rares up for grabs with rare spawns and vendors they can be affected by server hop so you can just transfer to another server using you know a level 100 class trial with my other video, you just take a look how to do it. And once you transfer over, you can buy from that vendor or you can fly around and it shouldn't transfer you back until you leave the group. 
Thanks again for watching the video. If you liked or found it useful, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more from my channel. You have a great day and I hope the RNG gods favour you. Bye bye.